So years have passed, and I totally lost touch with a lot of TV shows because why? I was doing other shit. I was getting into the internet. If I wanted to look at something, I would just look it up. Well, now that I got Netflix, like every fucking body else on the planet, I've been getting caught up on all these TV shows. One show that I remember being out several years ago that's on there, all their seasons, back to back to back, you can watch it all fucking day long and all night long, Undercover Boss. Now, it's a cool concept. Basically, some rich cocksucker that is completely out of touch with what the little man making him all the money's doing. Uh, he gets bored and decides, hey, you know what? I'm old and gray. I'm sitting up here. I'm bored out of my fucking mind. I'm blowing all my money on fucking hookers and cocaine, but it's okay because I got nothing else to live for. I'm bored as fuck. Uh, maybe we should just make a TV show. And he'll get in disguise. And it's always a standard, you know, toupee or the color job or the little uh, cock broom mustache or they'll grow a beard out or they'll just have some fake shit put on. Right? And they're really cheesy as fuck. It's like if you met these people, it was like nobody can be that fucking cheesy. But here they show up on the scene. Oh, I'm on a reality show called Second Chances or some bullshit, right? That's their cover, right? So meanwhile, they're going through the motions. They'll go through three or four different job titles at the, one of their stores and fuck shit up because they suck at it, right? Then, after watching a dozen episodes, you know, and you just get reeled into this bullshit and you watch it and you're like, why am I still looking at this, right? It's like, this is probably the most scripted fucking show I've ever seen in my life. Every fucking CEO, and I don't give a fuck who you are, what state you're from, how many stores you have, it's always the same thing. Always the goofy motherfucker that's rich and bored goes to a store and meets somebody that just decides to open up and share their soul, right? We have that segment in every fucking episode where all the mayhem goes away for a minute and now we can be real with each other. So, how long have you worked for this company? And that's when the trite piano music starts to play and the person looks down <coughs> Well, ever since my wife died three weeks ago, <laughs> I have nothing to live for. Coming here and making seven forty-six an hour is all I have left. And I just love my job and the people that I'm here for. <laughs> and then Daddy Warbucks, right? He sits there and looks, you know, and he wants to cop a cry, too. I just saw an episode the other day where, where the uh, the pity party took place. And, and, the, and the person trying to be an actor and trying to be sad about this bullshit, fictitious life they're trying to sell for the show. He's over there. I need to tell you about my dad died. Well, you know, <laughs> I'm real sorry your dad died. But it's like, are all these fucking CEOs, are they all basket cases? Because I mean, these motherfuckers are fucking gone. Then at the end of the show, just watch about five episodes. You'll see I'm not making it up. Then, <laughs> at the end of the show, they take out their disguise, right? They take out their little cheesy mustache. They go... Wash all the fucking brown out of their hair and show what an old wrinkled fart they really are, right? Put on their fucking $500 shoes and they ship them all in. That's when this smug, arrogant asshole walks out there and says, <laughs> Well, do you know who I am? And they're like, <laughs> No, I don't. Right? Oh, well. I'm Bob McGillicuddy. You know me as Jason Smith. But, yeah, I'm CEO of Fortune 500. Better than you. Uh, yeah, getting fucking rich off your greasy asses. Uh, <coughs> excuse me. But, yeah, uh, I just wanted to say you're doing a really good job. And it's a tax write-off. Uh, we're going to go ahead and give you 20 grand. Yeah. We're going we're gonna to give you a little fucking 
5% raise since she's been at our fucking place slinging chicken wings for the last five fucking years of your miserable fucking life. Well, yeah, we're, excuse me. <clears throat> yeah, we're going to go ahead and give you the raise. Yeah, okay. And then they hug and shit, and then they have a fucking full-blown party. Oh, well, here's when I, I see I was undercover, in case y'all didn't know, in case you hadn't told, I hadn't told the whole fucking world about it yet. Uh, I was undercover. And here's some scenes from our show, and everybody, <laughs> fuck out of here. That show is so fucking scripted. It's such a fucking train wreck. If you want to watch some train wreck shit, Netflix is a good place to start. Just watch some of these goofy ass shows. It's no wonder y'all got canceled. I was like, how many times can that happen? Where some goofy fuck shows up and you have to work with this son of a bitch for three or four days while the camera's around and he starts prying in on your personal shit. How many of those episodes can we see and not Hey, I bet this is undercover boss. We might want to work extra hard and have a good attitude about the company we work for. Well, lie like a motherfucker. Oh, I love my job. Make sure you tell them about how your fucking dog died. Hell, three weeks from now, the motherfucker may be giving you 20 grand and sucking your dick on national television. Undercover boss, reach over here and jack me off.